My name is Betty Sue Hertz. I'm the Director of Visual Arts here at Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. I am also the curator of this exhibition. What happens with cultural specificity? What happens when artists start to look um, deeply at, um, at plays and also not only outside but inside too, inside oneself in terms of identity and outside in terms of um, sort of the production of culture. In the memory hall, it's always 1977. I'm still eight years old, watching every moment of the 80-hour standoff, staring with confusion at a scene that never ends. Because a lot of the work I was doing was about contemporary politics and the politics of fear, the 1970s becomes a useful way also to talk about a particular kind of politics. Uh, which does depend partially on generating a fear narrative, but which is not now. Because I think if you talk about now, people's contemporary worries are tied up in it. So the 70s becomes a useful prism through which to look at these events, even though I never say that explicitly. I never say, let us look at 1975 to understand 2013, but I think the audience will pick it up, because there are parallels. We come from specific places, and we ask specific things. You know, they don't have to be about us. You know, there's nothing autobiographical about my work, but there's a kind of specificity of how I understand language, how I understand the language of painting, how I understand, you know, the language of, you know, symbolism. You know, and you look at these and you project some kind of Pan-African thing about black bodies and politics and all that nonsense, or, what I hope is that the specificity will absolutely tell you, you cannot project. I lived in Brazil for two years, in, um, first in the northeast of Brazil, in a state called Maranhão, and then in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I'm black, white, and Japanese. My father's African-American and white, and my mother is Japanese from Japan. And um, when I moved to Brazil, what struck me was that people very much had a sense of themselves as blended, um, as a combination of different things. Um, European, Indian, African, Japanese, Chinese, um, just kind of completely all mixed together to become, you know, Brazilian. Um, and that was profound for me. Um, in the United States, we do have blended identities, and we actually do experience our realities through our blended identities, but we often compartmentalize into being a singular ethno-racial identity. And being in Brazil gave me access to ways to approach a completely blended ethno-racial identity. I've always been interested in photography as a way to uh, articulate ideas that possibly I couldn't find in the world. So um, I began this process where I began to construct images um, and construct images based on found photographs. Um, at the time I was working with a lot of personal photographs and uh, recreating the spaces but kind of rethinking um, what the objects meant, uh, fictionalizing aspects of the images, uh, keeping other um, elements in the images um, as they were, and uh, literally recreating the spaces and photographing them. So, you know, thinking about um, the ways in which photography mediates our relationship to personal history, collective history, memory, and our present. I'm very interested in um, the way that subjects are formed. The understanding of subjectivity not only as a kind of individual experience in the world, but the way that um, circumstances, whether they be political or economic or historical, actually come to constitute us as subjects. Mm -hmm. 